Dr. Miller here, where math, the possibilities are limitless. Let's take a look at this inequality here, and let's go ahead and solve it. Now, when we solve an inequality the same way we would solve an equation, the only thing we have to remember is that if we divide or multiply both sides by negative, we're going to flip the symbol. So we have negative a half times x plus 3 is greater than or equal to 5. So this is a factor of negative a half. This is a uh, factor of x plus 3. So let's go ahead and let's multiply both sides by negative 2 because that'll get rid of the negative a half, and then this will clear. We'll just get x plus 3. Don't need to have the parentheses around that anymore. So we have x plus 3. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. However, we did multiply both sides by a negative, so we do have to flip that symbol. Now we're going to subtract both sides by 3. Then we'll have the x isolated, so we have x is less than or equal to negative 13. And that's actually going to be my answer. Now, if you do have to graph it, what you want to do here is, since there's a line under the symbol, you want a closed circle there, and we're going to the left of negative 13. So just mark the negative 13. We're going to the left. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to shade to the left, and then we're going to darken in that arrow, and there we go. We have it. The other thing that you could do is you could write this in interval notation.